Welcome to Recovering Ephemeral Histories from the Archives, the John Blank Project. This presentation is part of the National Archives 2021 Gerald Almeyer Seminar looking at new ways to work, offering future directions for archival and historical practice. I'm Michael Ohijuru, a senior fellow of the Institute of Commonwealth Studies. I specialise in the black presence in Renaissance Europe in general and Britain in particular. I conduct Image of the Black Tours in London's National Galleries and I'm director of the John Blank Project. The John Blank Project is my contemporary art and archive project celebrating John Blank, the black trumpeter to the courts of Henry VII Henry VIII, the first person of African descent for whom we have both an image and a record. This talk is about how the project has helped me understand the connection between the imagination and our critical faculties to create links between the art and the archives. My ideas on art and archive use my ideas on art and the use of archives are heavily influenced by the philosopher and educationalist Professor Martha Nussbaum. In her book, Not for Profit, Why Democracies Need the Humanities, she argues that the study of humanities requires, and I quote, a fusion of searching critical thought, daring imagination, emphatic understanding of human experiences of many different kinds, and an understanding of the complexity of the world we live in, unquote. I have developed Nussbaum's argument into a representative model for creatively interrogating the archives in order to produce artistic and literary outcomes such as films, books, plays or works of art and the like. Those outcomes are not produced in isolation. Their source is a thought process that begins with intellectual curiosity, Socratic questioning of one's worldview in order to develop new views which are to be critically challenged. The strapline for the John Blank project is Imagine the Black Tudor Trumpeter. Imagination is the fundamental concept of the project, as it is the failure of the imagination which has led some to believe that the black people have no history, so have to steal others, as seen in this mem, which was posted in Twitter, in a Twitter thread, on the disgraced historian David Starkey's comment, So many damned blacks. While there are those who argue that, that the black presence in Tudor England is manufactured, made up, as part of an agenda, as seen in this tweet I received questioning John Blank's presence at the Tudor court. This failure of imagination, in spite of the facts, is a result of there being no intellectual inquisitiveness, no thought experiments that through the imagination might ask questions such as, could there have been a black presence in Tudor court? How did it get there? And what might be the consequences of the answers to such questions? For the John Blank project, for example, those questions were asked from the beginning. What was his real name? Where did he come from? Whom did he marry? Where did he go after leaving Henry's court? Possible answers to such questions come from our knowledge of humanities, history, language, culture, religion, and considerations of the complexity of the world, rather than taking a constrained parochial or nationalistic view. In the project, artists and historians creatively answer these questions through reflecting on John Blank's presence in the archives, his fleeting references in the Tudor court accounts held at the National Archive and his two images at the Westminster Tournament Roll held at the College of Arms. To date, summer 2021, there are contributions from some 27 historians and 58 artists other, comp other contributions are in development. The historians developed ideas from John Blank's brief fleeting entries in the archives, and, and here are some, of, some examples. For example, Professor Olivetti Hotel said, saw how, as one, and, and, and saw him as one of the first Afro Europeans, while curator Jan Marsh considered the work an invaluable Tudor portrait. 
Artists, in addition to their work, are invited to make a written statement beginning, I imagine John Blank as. So, for example, the late creative art director John Daniel imagined John Blank as a trump card in a pack of playing cards, while the artist Phoebe Boswell imagined him as the extraordinary saxophonist Schubacher Hutchinson. At the start of the project in 2016, there were few secondary sources on John Blank. Today there are several books, as well as chapters on, on Black British history, which discuss him and his presence at the Tudor court. He is listed as one of the 100, black men, the 100 great black Britons in 2020, in noting he wasn't there in the, 20, in the 2003 list. He has made cameo appearances in TV series, as well as appearing on the covers of magazines, and even being mentioned in the BBC Radio News, where he was described as an ambitious young man. The project has demonstrated that when the archival record is exhausted or is beef, we need to look to the imagination to take things further, developing the story imaginatively based on the facts, allowing that potent feedback loop between our imagination and critical, uh, critical thinking to take the story forward. The creative potential of art, rap, poetry, music and other artistic media to breathe new life into an ephemeral history such as John Blanks is reflected in the wide range of creative outputs from the project and to date there are 85 such contributions. There are others from the same period as John Blank with similar ephemeral histories such as Catalina de Montreal, the Black Lady of the Bedchamber to Catherine of Aragon Henry, Henry VIII's first wife, or the black Spanish needlemaker working in 16th century London's Cheapside, who would not share his art with any. Each has a brief, incomplete biography from the archives, which, like John Blank, has the potential to inspire historians and artists to creatively reimagine their prospective stories. In doing so, bring them to life, making imaginative connections to art and archives that allow them and their history to become real and relevant to us today. To conclude, intellectual curiosity inspired by our imagination while being challenged by our critical thinking together with the arts and the archives, can help us recover other ephemeral histories, one of the new ways of working to discuss to discussed at the seminar that has, been help, that, that has helped me personally understand and reconsider the relationship between historical works of art and the archives. <laughs>